Prince went to Bomper SHS so early, even before the morning parade, so the prefect were able to show him around and welcome him properly. The Bomper student Amazing went so late when Fijai was almost done with the morning parade. The high school's Africa guy even said he is too late. That must have affected some aspects of their hospitality. However, my school Fijai SHS could have done better. The side that I think in my lateness to Fijai's um, assembly might have affected the kind of hospitality that was supposed to be geared to him is something that I think it's, it's very minute. It's not on a bigger scale because say, yes, he was late for assembly. What was he basically going to do if he had come to assembly? You would probably just introduce him to the, the assembly, right? And that's it. But before the assembly, every other thing that should happen for that day might have been done before the assembly. It is something that has been done a day or two before the assembly because the assembly is just um, early morning and they're just coming to assembly. So the assembly was just to make things formal. But then ahead of time, the school is aware this person was coming. So yes, he was late and that was bad. I also didn't like the fact that he was late. No one that Goshas also spoke about. And the fact that, of course, he was tense. I felt in most of the, in, in most of the times in the video, he was, he was too rigid. And I even was thinking about what if they had gotten a different, uh, um, exchange student to represent Bompe. So that's, that is just it about him. And then he's going to bear the consequence, which is to have missed certain ceremony that would have been given to him at the assembly. That is out. Now, the school itself has begun. Are you saying that because he missed the assembly, the prophets suddenly have canceled all preparation? Because it's not like they knew he was not going to come. He just was late, right? So are you saying that every preparation, if there was any preparation anyway, every preparation have been canceled because he was late? That, that would be surprising. So if it wasn't cancelled, then what preparation was that? Per the kind of profession that we are embark on um, as a filmmaker, I always say that you need to prepare. The fact that you know uncertainties can happen during production doesn't mean you don't have to prepare. Actually, because uncertainties can happen, that is why you have to prepare. What the preparation will do for you is that in a situation where those uncertainties start popping up, you'll be able to easily adjust to it and come up with solutions because already they were laid down procedures for yourself. But imagine there was no preparation at all. It means that you actually basically have no clue about what you're going to produce, what you're going to do. So when the uncertainty happens, then you are found wanted. So I am using that to apply to this scenario. If indeed there was that preparation and this uncertainty, which is um, amazing coming late, how exactly did that affect their hospitality that there was no single prefect to be with him from the beginning, that he, they only came when school had closed, were probably some minutes to close him. Of course, and I won't ignore how Prince was respective of time. He came very early and he had the most of the morning. Remember the latter part, the farewell that was given by Prince um, colleagues in class, that was done at the latter part. Same way, the fact that he was allowed to enter certain premises like the library, like there, all the labs, the fact that um, the prefect from the beginning followed him, the fact that they actually came to class to even call him, that awareness is what makes that big difference. Right now, we are going to um, house six. Six. And the name of the house six is Abba Smith. Abba Smith. Yes, so we are going to house six. Abba Smith. Yeah. House how, six. How, how, how come the name is Abba Smith? Um, actually, the house was named after our first headmistress, okay. who was assigned in Bumper Senior High Technical okay. School. Our okay. first headmistress. Yeah. And that's why the name was called House Abba Six. And all the houses, the names were after the headmaster, headmasters who came to the school. Okay, yes, we nice. want to memorize them every day. Okay. That's why they use yeah. their names for the houses. houses. Yes. Okay, so yeah. as an old student, something I learned, which he said was that um, the houses, um, the new um, house six block that they are building, they've named it after Mrs. Abba Smith. And she was the headmistress as at the time I was in school. But then did she say that Abba Smith, uh, Mrs. Abba Smith was uh, the first headmistress of Bomper? Well, if I got that right, no, she, she wasn't. She isn't or she wasn't the first um, headmistress of Bompe. I think it will be a, a Sumanjiri, Sumanjiri house, which is my house. It's Mrs. Mercy Sumanjiri house. Yeah. 
she was the first headmistress of Bompe, yeah. And you know, my time in school, we had two two assembly halls. We had the small one and the bigger one. The smaller one is what Joyce showed the prince at some point. And then we had the bigger one. I think now has, it has been converted into, uh, into a classroom. So I was very impressed seeing that newly built assembly hall. And it's big. It's bigger than I think the, even the bigger one we had at that time. Okay, I want to talk about the responsibility attached with um, honesty, um, which is respect. And in as much as um, being honest is very good, you know, nobody likes to be lied to. Now, in doing so, you need to not ignore the responsibility it comes with. And this responsibility, I mean respect. So how do you do that? Um, you do it with that consciousness that you want to present the thing without undermining the person's personality or undermining the person's very environment at which you found that person in. And I'm using this to comment and then um, talk about Prince, how he very well did this, how he carried himself. It's something that I love. This guy was blunt, was straightforward, but then that honesty did not let him neglect the fact that there's also the importance of him being respectful. And he carried that throughout. He was willing to learn. And then eventually, when he was able to relax even more, thanks to people like Joyce, um, it even became better. Now, you know, comparison can be a very good thing, but when not handled very well, it can rather be distracting. There, there were instances from, I think, three people that I can talk about. The, the, the head of science mentioned it. He was asking Prince if his school's lab is better than um, 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 Bompers, where he is. And similar thing at the library with Joyce. Joyce to asked the same question, like, um, which one is better? So that kind of question also kept running to the same way. The latter part, the guy that he interacted with at the classroom also uh, mentioned something like that. Now, I, I want to draw attention to something. Um, in some cases, yes, there's a there's a purpose for human being to try to compare so that you don't just relax, be in your comfort zone. Because there's that tendency that complacency can come in, thinking that you're the only person maybe on top. But immediately you get to see that there are other people doing what you're doing and probably even doing better. It gets to set you up. So um, in, in that healthy comparison, yes, that's good. But then when you don't handle it well, it rather will mean to destroy the very thing you were trying to build in the first place. So in this case, I would suggest that you rather want to want to ask the person um what is it that he or she suggests that can be done or added to what he's already experiencing to make it better so in this case the person would then give his own opinion about it so it, just leave it to the person just ask the question what do, does the person think should be taken out or be added to make um, the current situation the situation that you both find yourself now in to be better. When that question was put to um, Prince, it's difficult sometimes to say because then you're so careful. In as much as it is good for people to have freedom to speak, at the same time too, there's also that responsibility done on you to make sure that you don't just say things just like that. It's like you need to structure your words, which is what he was doing. But sometimes for conversation to flow at certain pace, when you ask that question, it breaks that conversation. The person tries to reserve and try to not maybe open up some things that ordinarily he would have. And you know, Prince actually thanked the class for receiving him well. I have not seen that uh, um, done by anyone. Shown me great respect. And then you've all, uh, you've reacted to me like, you've interacted with me like a friend, like a member of your class and I'm very grateful for it. All of that. So thank you all for okay, thank you. Thank you for your time. Whoa, man. The, the excitement. You see, I see it was like a show and this guy has done brilliantly well and they couldn't comprehend and then they have to just um, applaud.